Everybody's been talking about signals lately. Signals is a concept that came out of SolidJS, but it has a longer background in many different frameworks and programming languages in the past. But recently it's gotten extremely popular. People are talking about it. People are trying to bring signals into all the different JavaScript frameworks out there. There's new libraries for Angular, React, and Preact. But as a Vue developer, do we actually have signals? What do we need to do? And how do we recreate it inside our applications? So Evan, you actually recently talked about this in a Twitter thread. So I thought I should show you how you can implement signals inside your Vue app today. I think you're gonna be very surprised about it and make sure you watch all the way to the end. Okay, let's jump into the code. Let's take a look at the definition of signals in the SolidJS documentation. If we look closely, it says signals are the most basic React primitive. They track a single value, which can be any JavaScript object that changes over time. This should sound pretty familiar with you if you're used to using refs in Vue. And so let's see if we can reproduce it inside Vue. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the single file component playground for Vue. And I'm gonna create a new file. I'm gonna call it solidsignal.js. And inside here, I'm gonna do a few imports in. So first I'm gonna import in shallow ref. Now shallow ref is just like ref, but it doesn't do the deep conversion. And then trigger ref, I'm gonna use it so I can have a little bit more granularity on exactly what I wanna trigger. I'm gonna export a function called create signal, which we'll use in our app view in a moment. And it's gonna be passed in a value and options. So first for our, we're gonna use a variable named r, and it's just gonna be our shallow ref and whatever value they pass in, we'll have it equal it. And then we're gonna create a getter and a setter. So first for getter, it's just gonna return the value as a function. And for a setter, we're gonna take in the value. And then we're going to do a couple of things here. First, we're gonna to check to see if that value is a function or not, or type of function. If it is a function, then we're going to use a ternary here. We're just going to return the value inside the function. Otherwise, we'll just return the value. And if they do pass in options, this is not going to be something you always need to do. But if you do, if it equals false, then we're just going to trigger the ref manually. And this will get, give us a little bit more flexibility and this matches how it works with solid JS. And we're just gonna return the getter and setter as an a array. So now we can import in the create signal from the file that we just created, solid signal JS. And now we should be able to use it in our app here. And we're just gonna create a, a real basic counter. And I'll show you this, how it works in solid as well. So we'll do create signal here. We'll pass in zero as the first value. And we'll just create an H1 here, which will show the count. So obviously this will be incremented. And you'll notice we'll just, it returns a function. So we'll just show it as a function here. Uh, and then we'll have a button and inside this button, we'll have an increment and we'll add a click handler inside here. And this click handler will go to set count, which it, as we know, it takes a function. So we're just gonna have it return the value plus one. So every time you click it, it increments. And then we'll show the count. So you can see here, we're clicking it. It's working as we expect. So now we have created a signal exactly as it is in solid, which I'm gonna show you now. Inside VS Code here, I will run the npx dejit command, which will download a TypeScript template for solid app into a solid app folder. And now I'll just need to go ahead and run npm install, and this will install everything I need for solid JS. I'll go ahead and run npm run dev, and that'll run solid in development mode. So in the app.tsx file, I went and cleaned it up. So let's go and import in create signal. This is very similar to the create signal we just created earlier in view. And then we'll go ahead and destructure out counter and set counter, basically our getter and setter that we need. And we'll go ahead and get create signal and we'll default it to zero. So inside here, we'll add a button. Now we'll use on click because it's using JSX in solid, unlike view. And then we'll just call the set counter and we'll use a function just like we did earlier and we'll do v equals v plus one, and we'll just call pressed here. And then we'll also pass in the counter, and once again, we'll run it as a function. If we open up the browser here, we can test it out. 
So it'll look very similar to what we had in view, but if we press the button, it's incrementing as we expect. Now, one thing with signals are very much like ref and reactive in view because they can be shared with multiple components and they actually keep their same value, unlike using hooks in React. So for example, we can do a show counter here and we can pass in this counter and the counter is shared everywhere. And then inside here, we can just show the counter, uh, the counter component. And then if we save this and we open it back up in the browser, you can still see here in the browser, it is working exactly as I expected. So really signals for the most part, Vue has already done in the past. So if you are using Vue and you're using Ref or Reactive, you're basically using signals. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about the hype. This works exactly the same. As always, thank you for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Take care and make sure you check out some of these other videos.